Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure, we'll see how to access Azure file storage and what are the different options available. So as you know that uh, Azure files are under Azure storage. So it's a platform as a service and uh, highly scalable. And the hierarchy is that uh, when you create a storage account, you create a file share and then you can have files in that. Now, when it comes to accessing your storage account, one option is to use storage account key. And specifically for file shares, you can mount it as a network drive and you can access it. The only thing is that you need to have port 445 open outbound. That's one way of doing that. If you don't have port 445 open, then you can also use uh, point to site connectivity. Uh, you can use a certificate based authentication and then you can access that, but uh, storage account keys and the name of the storage account, and then you can mount it as a network drive and then you can uh, add your file storage. You can upload all the stuff that you can do with that. May not be the most secure way of doing this, but uh, that's one way. Other option is, identity-based access management. Now, a lot of customers, they have uh, on-prem AD or they might be using Azure ADDS. Now, if you have uh, any of these two, Azure File Storage has integration with domain services and uh, you can do NTFS, you can provide NTFS kind of permissions. For that, you need to enable that on the storage account level at the configuration level. And then you can do identity-based access management and you can control what access they want right from the Active Directory and specifically Active Directory domain services I'm talking about. The third option that I'm going to show you today is through shared access signature, also called SAS. That's the short form for that. Now, just going back to the first option when it comes to storage account key. So if you provide the keys uh, to a user, he or she will have access to anything under that storage account. Because as you know, storage account, you can have blobs, file, queue, table, these are different kinds of storage uh, options available. In this case, we are talking about file, but if you provide a key, basically they will have access to all the services which are underneath. And that's why I said that may not be the uh, very secure way, but if you use shared access signature, then you can specify what service under that storage account you can give access to, right? You can just specify that I want only give access to the files only. And on top of that, you can also specify you want to give just read or write permission only. They should not be able to delete, right? So much more granular level uh, control, I will say, uh, from the access of the storage account. But still from the identity-based access management, you still need to have on-prem Active Directory or you need to have uh, Azure Active Directory domain services. Now I've already created the videos on both these two options. And today I'm going to concentrate on share access signature and just one more thing to use share access signature you need to have an application called storage explorer and once you have this it can be accessed from windows linux mac it doesn't matter but as i said that for the first two option i've already created a video but i'll still show you that right so let's go to the azure portal and the account i've already created with the name sa Garish. And if you want to use the first option, which is account keys, I can go to the settings and uh, go to access keys. And then I can use this, these keys and mount it as a network drive, right? That's one way of doing that. The other option was the identity-based access management. So as I said that if you have on-prem Active Directory or Azure Active Directory domain services, you need to enable by going to the configuration. And uh, you see, 
you can domain join this storage account if you have ADDS. So there are steps involved. Uh, if you go to the, my channel, there is a video on that. And uh, also if you have Azure Active Directory domain services, you can also enable that. And then you can give identity-based access management for your file shares. Very similar to the you know NTFS permissions that we generally do if we have a file server on-prem. Now the third option which I'm going to concentrate today is a shared access signature, which is this. And let me just go and expand this. And here you see I have allowed services, so I have four options here. I just want to give for this demonstration for files only access. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will only give a read and write access. So allowed permission going to be read and write. They won't be able to delete, right? And uh, I've seen that you always need to have this list option checked specifically for the file store. So I'm going to keep it checked, right? But this, with this uh, shared access signature, they should not be able to delete. And we're going to test this, right? And you can also further, you know, set an expiry date. So this shared access signature that will be generated, you can specify that it should be only available from uh, you know, from 16th, uh, just today's date to say of one year or one month, you can specify the expiration date for that. So that's another good feature, but I'm just going to use the default. And uh, I think that should be good. And uh, actually one more thing for the allowed services type, you need to have a, a service container object, right? it relies on these services and then your SAS and connection string will be visible. So you can just go and click on this. It will generate a file service SAS URL for you, right? Let me just move this. At this stage, I can just uh, copy the SAS URL. And what I'm going to do is to test this out. I have an on-prem machine, right? Let me just expand this. And on this machine, I've already downloaded the application called uh, Azure Storage Explorer. And as I said that uh, you can use this to access your storage account from your Windows, Linux, Mac machine. And here I have the storage account. You can just right click and connect to Azure Storage. Go and expand your storage account. You can either use uh, access key but in this case, I'm going to use a shared access signature. Go to next. You can give a display name. And here you need to provide the service URL. At this stage, you can go to next. You get the summary about the display name, the account name. So the account name is SA Girish, which is on the Azure side, the file endpoint, the uh, says uh, URL. The service access is file, so it's not a blob or a queue or table, it's specifically for file storage, so much more control. Resource type access, service container object, and the permission is read, write list, and we're going to test this out. And let's go and click on connect. Okay, so you can see that uh, the storage account has appeared and the file share. And this is the file share that I created. So that is under storage account. So let me just go back to the Azure portal. I'm just going to come out of this. And if I can go under file share, this is the file share that I have. And if I can go expand these, these are the two files. So I should be able to see these two files. Let's go back. And if I go and expand this, There you go. You can see that uh, I have both the files listed here, but does it allow me to upload? So I'm going to test this out. So let's go upload folder. And I can browse my machine. And I have a server, as you can see right over here with the name on-prem. So I'm going to upload this. So let's go and select and upload. And it's transferring that to the Azure file share. And that is what you can see that that has been uploaded. But as you know that it's only read and write. Does it allow me to delete the content? So let's go and try this out. So I have this uh, small picture here. So I'm trying to delete this. 
let's see if it allows me to delete. So you can see that I have insufficient credential because uh, on the SAS signature, we have not specified that you can delete this. So this is one way of accessing your Azure file share and specifically a shared access signature. So give you more control as compared to the account key that uh, you can use it. But I think shared access signature has a little bit more flexibility as compared to the other option. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.